There is a video still on YouTube explaining why I had to take down my videos from 2013. Um, I am reposting those videos that do not include a certain young person I cannot name. Um, and I will redo the videos that mentioned his name so they don't mention it, so I can repost those. There is very important facts in all the police reports that helped prove not only my innocence, but their guilt on many different areas. So, so I let you know why my videos are now back up again. I'll try to remake some, uh, recap certain events and help prove some more things going on. I've also learned recently from uh, Charles Slicer III that they are supposed to give you full disclosure. They did not. There's a lot of things that they have kept hidden. Sullivan's Cruiser recording, if it was recorded at all, which showed them verbally abusing me, physically intimidating me, and lying. Um, Brewer's Cruiser recording with Myron Taylor, supposedly, is also missing. USB flash drive was, that they stole from me the first day was not brought up in the police reports or anything. Um, my complaints against the uh, police department that I had uh, given to, that I called the chief of police on September 1st, those were ignored. There's a number of other things that they have kept secret that hopefully will sooner or later be exposed or exposed to not have existed or whatever. So look forward to hopefully more videos to show the truth about what's really going on around the Dayton area.